In the last video, we have seen how to do localization using convolution neural networks. There is one uh, important detail that I uh, missed out, that is your CNNs, whether it is AlexNet or v, uh, VGTNet, it will need a fixed size input. That is, it will need images of size 224 by 224, both of them. So, while doing localization, what you have to do is, irrespective of size of image you have, you have to resize it to 224 by 224 and give this as input to your localization network. And then this network will output a confidence score and a bounding box. For this uh, image, maybe the bounding box will be at this location and the confidence score for cat may be uh, very high, maybe around 85%. Now the question is how to do detection. That is what if there are more than one objects in an image, how do you do detection? One simple idea would be to just reuse the same localization network by doing some pre-processing. That is for this image for example, I can just crop this image into two halves and give each of these halves as input to my network. I'll just resize both these images, both these halves to 224 by 224 and give this as input to my localization network. Just ignore the presence of these two cats here, assume that there are only two objects. So this way, for both these crops, I'll be able to get the confidence score and, and then the bounding box. Once I have the results, I can translate the dimensions back to this image. And so, for this image, I'm able to do detection just by reusing the same localization framework. I only had to do some pre-processing on the input side. But now, what happens if my input image is this? In this case, I have to take the crops in this way. So, you can begin to imagine that there is no general solution to take the crops. That's because neither do I know the number of objects nor the location of these objects beforehand. So, it's impossible to decide uh, how exactly I can take the crop and give it as input to the localization uh, network. So, this is a problem. And how will I solve it? We have already discussed this technique uh, several times. What I can do is I can use the sliding window technique. Since I don't know the number of uh, objects, nor do I know the location of these objects, I'll scan the image, that is, I'll take the crops in all possible locations in the image. That is, let's say this is my initial window. I'll take this crop of the image, resize and feed it as input to my localization network. Then I'll move the sliding window slightly to the right, take this crop and feed it, to my, uh, feed it as input to my network. And uh, this way, I will run the localization framework at all possible locations. And I'll, and I'll be getting the confidence scores and bounding boxes for all the locations. So this way I can keep going on at all the locations in the image. And then I'll be able to do the object detection just by reusing the localization framework. Now what is the pre-processing that I did down the input side? I just use the sliding window technique. Sliding window plus crop plus resize. Okay, so this is, what I, this is the pre-processing that I did in the input size and now I'm able to reuse the same localization network to do object detection. But uh, even with this approach, there is one problem. That is, here all the objects in this uh, image are of the same size. But often times, we will have images where the objects are of different sizes. For example, the size of this uh, si bicycle and uh, this person is different. So in this case, if uh, you can clearly see that if I use this sliding window, this person will not fit the box entirely. So in this case, how will the detection happen? For this, I can use a concept of image pyramid. That is what I'll do is, I'll just resize this image, that is scale down this image, and uh, I'll try the same sliding window. Even in this case, the person doesn't fit. So again, I'll resize the image and try the same sliding window. Now we can see that the person fits uh, perfectly inside this window. In this case, at this scale, I'll be able to detect this person. Maybe the bicycle will get detected at this scale. This way, if I use a image pyramid of uh, different scales, we can expect that uh, different sized objects will get identified or detected at different scales. Note that I still have to use the sliding window on all these scales. Okay. So experimentally, it has been found out and uh, usually they use six different scales of the images. Here I have shown only four, but usually they use six different scales. And what usually happens is, because this image is very big, the smaller objects will get detected at this scale. And as you go deeper, that is as you scale down the image to a smaller one, the larger objects get detected on a small sized image. 
So this is a concept behind image pyramid. So using sliding window, I solve the uh, problem of location. That is irrespective of where the object is present, I'm able to detect it using sliding window. And using image pyramid, I solve the location of scale. That is irrespective of what size the object is, I'm still able to detect it. So these are the two extra pre-processing I have to do on the input side. So this is my same localization network that I already had previously. And I'm just doing the pre-processing that is uh, take the image pyramid, use sliding window along with crop and resizing uh, each time and feeding these crop and resized images as input to the, my localization framework, I'll be able to do the object detection. So in this case, for this image, at this scale, I'll be able to detect this person. When I crop this rectangular box and give this as input to my uh, network by resizing it, my network uh, predicts a confidence score, maybe say 0 0.9, and it will give this green bounding box. Okay, so we already discussed this. Even if the image, even if the person is partially visible, my network will try to predict a bounding box. Okay, and also it will give a confidence score. But it's just that the bounding box in this case may not be very accurate. And even the confidence score might be low, say for example 60%. But uh, at this scale, the confidence score will be very high and even the bounding box will be accurate because now the network can see the person entirely. So this is the idea behind doing object detection using uh, sliding window and image pyramid techniques. But still, there is a problem with this technique. Because we are uh, taking the crop of this image at all possible locations, and moreover, I have to do the same technique at uh, six different scales of the images. You can imagine just to process one single image, how many inputs I'm feeding to the convolution neural network. We already know that CNNs take a lot of time and also consume a lot of computational resources to do the processing. And now just to process one single image, I have in turn transformed it to multiple inputs to the CNN, to my localization framework. This is a very time consuming process and also computationally expensive. How will I solve these two issues? Let's look at it in the next video.